The Life and Legacy Foundation is a nonprofit organization that I established in honor of my late husband, artist George Rodrigue. It primarily focuses on the arts and education, specifically George's art, original paintings and sculptures, but also the art of storytelling. And I use these things in an unplugged manner, hoping to engage students of all ages I literally bring millions of dollars worth of artwork into schools and expose students in small groups and we let the art take us on a journey. At the time of this taping, I have now been in 120 schools, more than 500 classes and close to 50,000 kids in person plus adults, plus three museum shows already, and we've got three in the works. George and I did that a lot. I mean, I would say in the last decade of his life, we were spending more and more time in schools. I mean, he, that's where this all really started and sprang from, is it's an extension of what we did together. George Rodrigue is one of America's most important modernist painters. He came from a small town, loved his hometown, and he became an artist against all odds. And we go in depth in that story in Life and Legacy presentations because the reason for doing this is to inspire, uh, to encourage creativity, to encourage working it out. Um, the answer, not all answers are on Google. Uh, the answer's in, in here, and here, and here. <laughs> and so, uh, George Rodrigue was magical. When George passed away, I was, I often describe it as a hole. I fell into a hole. I didn't even feel the need to find a purpose. I was too depressed. I was depressed. I came up with the idea for this programming for Life and Legacy as a way of pulling myself out um, because I realized really in an instant, one night, that George needs me and that perhaps he needs me more than he ever did because all those wonderful things that we experienced, all the marvelous things that he shared with me are are no longer in both our heads, they're just in mine. So I often tell kids I'm here to put some of it in yours. <laughs> the most common reaction I get from kids is that they want to learn more. Younger kids, it's easy to see what they get out of it. They have a great time. They can't wait to go make art. They, they get really excited about talking about it. It makes them happy. Um, but with the older students, they tell me how someone squashed their spirit. And that's part of what I share in the extended programming, is stories of a squashed spirit. Sometimes George's, uh, sometimes my own. I get a real charge out of seeing these kids get excited. I get an even bigger charge out of seeing adults get excited out of breaking down the cynicism, the narrowness that comes with the responsibilities of adulthood. And the exhibitions have really surprised people. When we did this exhibition at the Oro O'Keefe, and I say we because I did it in partnership with my curator of exhibitions, Dana Holland Bikert, we hung all late paintings that George did after his cancer diagnosis. Very large, very dynamic, and shocking. If you went in thinking that it's just the same blue dog over and over again, you're never gonna think that way again. That's for sure. The arts are, well, art is life. And the arts are the stimulus for invention, for moving forward as a society, nurturing our unique qualities, and to appreciate those qualities in others, 
And as such, are a reminder that not only is everybody as special and important as everybody else, but we are all interconnected. Um, we're kind of responsible for each other. And the arts remind us of that.